प्रतिभा कॉलेज ऑफ कॉमर्स अँड कम्प्युटर स्टडीज चिंचवड पुणे ऑर्गनायझेस कोर्स ऑन मॉडर्न डिजिटल टेक्नॉलॉजी आय मिसेस अश्लेषा पेपसे वे इंट्रोड्युसिंग मॉड्यूल सिक्स द नेम ऑफ द मॉड्यूल सिक्स इज वेबसाईट्स अँड वेब अॅनालिटिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट As you know, web is a common name and for the world wide web. So uh, it is a subset of internet consisting of the pages that can be accessed by the web servers. Okay, so analysis is, first of all, I would like to say analytics is the analysis of data. Okay, so analysis of data means that may be any form. So digital analytics, there may be the three terms we have to use, digital analytics, web analytics and the google analytics so digital analytics is about the analysis of data with captured from digital platforms but to implement digital analysis you need some tool and we use the tools as google analytics or the adobe analytics there are many more tools so in the world of digital analytics the web analysis is one component that you might not captures data but it is also from websites you can capture data from other platforms also which is collected digitally so google analytics is a tool to implement the web analytics and other tools include adobe analysis and kiss matrix etc so web analytics is comprises of some components so the collecting analyzing and measuring of user data then tracking reporting and the analysis of user behavior and to take the informed decisions continuous to improvement all right so let us discuss the objectives of this course all right so this web analytics course gives the participants well rounded knowledge in web data analytics including the following terms overall overview of websites you can get then how web data, data analytics drives important insights into the behavior of the market and website traffic so various features of web analytics and multi channel analytics so how to generate a valuable data from internal search analysis then how to confidently analyze and provide the business solutions that will be the objective of this course then outcomes what you will get the outcome so student will understand the use of website links customer and company directly and how top level management utilizes the data analysis for their future planning so introduction of this course so advanced website analytics is the science of analysis that focuses on the world wide web all right that is www consortium So web analytics focuses on optimizing an organizational digital ecosystem by collecting, analyzing and enabling the making of data informed decisions. So to take the proper decisions we need to use the web analytics techniques. What are the course objectives? So how web data analytics drives important insights into the behavior of the market and website traffic so there may be the traffic that is considering the website traffic which is nothing but the digital traffic in your organization so various features of analytics and the multi channel analytics then how to generate the valuable data from internal search analysis then how to confidently analyze and provide some business solutions and how to conduct the qualitative research and deliver the actionable data driven business insights so if you want to protect or if you want to create any website then you must be taking consideration the related terms which is which is for your website creation so there may be your first of all you will keep in mind that your website must be the logically correct and must be fulfill all the requirement of the customer and also security purpose so let us discuss about history of web technology first of all so tim berners lee which is a british computer scientist invented the world wide web in 1989 so in march 1989 tim laid out his version for that 
for what would become the web in a document called as information management. So a proposal, believe it or not, team initial proposal was not immediately accepted. So in fact, his boss at the time, Mike Sandal, noted the words vacuum out but existing on the cover. So the web was never an official song CERN project, but Mike managed to give time to work on it in September 1990. So he began work using a next computer once of one of Steve Jobs early products. By October 9 of 1990, team had written the three fundamental technologies that remain the foundation of today's web and the first web page was one. So this will be the history of your web technology. So there may be the message. So first of all, message sent or the data which is the information data will sent first of all ISP internet service provider. The data will goes to there. Then second step is the data is split into the packets that travel through that our data which is sent by the sender will goes to the again here for the recipient there may be the ISP so where all the data will receive first of all in ISP that is internet service provider server and then it will go message data recipient side that is our recipient side. So internet and web there are these two terms are basically we we say that internet is same as the web but it is not okay so what are the basic differences between them so internet or originated sometimes in late 1960 whereas the web which is the english scientist tim bonnelli invented the world wide web in 1989 but internet was originated in late 1960s so the nature of internet is hardware but in the case of web, we can say the nature of www that is world wide web is software. So the internet consists of computers, routers, cables, DJs, servers, cellular towers and satellites etc. But in the case of web, it consists of information like text, images, audio, video and many more. The version of the internet was known as ARPANET and in the beginning www was known as NSF NET. Then internet works on the basis of internet transfer, whereas www works on the basis of hypertext transfer protocol, which is the basic term of this. Internet is independent of www, but www requires the internet to exist. So when unless and until we don't have the internet connectivity, you can't use your web. In the case of web, World Wide Web is a subset of the internet. So apart from supporting web, the internet's hardware infrastructure is used for other things as well as that is FTP, which is the file transfer protocol, or the example is SMTP, that is simple mail transfer protocol. So the computing devices are identified by the IP addresses in the internet, but in the case of web, the information pieces are identified by uniform resource locator. but the collecting, analyzing and measuring the user's data to track, report and analyze the user behavior and also to take the informed decisions continues to improvement in our website. So the measurement plus reporting, collection and the analysis will be equal to the web analytics. So measurement, collection, analysis and then reporting. This will, this will comprise of web analytics. Now reasons why you should not ignore the web analytics. The first reason is a certain web traffic. Okay, there may be the web traffic. So to avoid this web traffic, we have to use the web analytics 
in your website then second reason will be optimize marketing campaigns we have to optimize the marketing marketing campaigns so we have to take our first time so we have to optimize our marketing campaigns and third one will be the better page quality so everybody in every software or in every platform or in every uh, engine search engine that is the google opera internet explorer and all this so our website must be launched to various we must know we must be follow the sdlc life cycle nothing but the analysis phase then planning phase and coding phase and then uh, testing phase and implementation phase and then the deployment phase so while creating any particular website we must know the design of our website then the idea idea is which what type of website you have to create then testing of it maintenance of it software engineering optimization techniques will be there hosting how to host your website then statistics what are the domain we need to create then where to host our website what are the projects we have to comprise in your website then what will be the content how to promote your website through advertisement and whatever how to programming in your website which programming technology or the techniques or the language you have to use to create the website that is nothing but the php dot net uh, angular js node js react js whatever and the domain side all right so these all terms comprises of the particular website then to explore the world of web to grow your career so what is web analytics and why are web analytics important so with this course you will explore explore some of the of this increasingly popular skills and learn how to apply it to your own online business so you will begin by looking at the basics of web analysis including the different types of analytics and what they are used for so before exploring uh, some key areas in your more detail in this framework there are these steps there are these stages we have to go through then implement improvements major reason whatever the result whatever the output will get from our website that we have to measure means is it fulfill to your requirement or not then determine the needs is our website determines the need of the customer then identify the goals if not determined by the customer then we have to identify our goals where we crack where we lack of the uh, design part of your website then define the metrics what are the matrices of our website that we have to define then how to collect the data if we have the data how to analyze that particular data then record the base then how to test improvement strategies and then we have to implement our improvements so these all we have to get from in your web analytics so examine the importance of business analytics there may be google analytics web analytics data analytics term all right so don't be confused in and also digital analytics term so first of all there and then it comprises of web analytics and then the part of that is google analytics so as you work your way through the course you focus on how organizations and individuals can benefit from learning analytics then running a successful online business often requires a good working knowledge of web analytics and here you will look at some of the essential processes for measuring objects and outcomes that you will also learn how web analytics skills can help you to continually improve your product or business then web analytics are nothing but the comprises of consulting training conversion optimization tag management then report integration and the usability analysis and testing so how to discover the power of web analytics tools so tool web analytics tool is nothing but the google analytics all right so you will discover the powerful base analytics tools that can be used examining concepts including segmentation and the page marking and exploring the five steps to creating a measurement plan there may be the steps that we'll see later so you will also learn the process involved in creating a successful business including measuring objectives outcomes and continually improving of your website then most popular web analytics tools first is google analytics this is the most popular 
analytic web analytic tool that is google analytics so here you can get a detailed search analysis by connecting the google analytics so what you will get you will get how many users are there with you uh, who visited our website then what is of your website this all type of information you can get through the web analytics tools that is the google analytics first other is <coughs> click analytics clicky analytics so clicky is a free tool up to 3000 daily page views the third is mint analysis so it comes at a great price of 30 dollar per site but with no recurring cost afterwards then fourth is pop analytics so this is you are also allowed to live chat with individual site visitors which is really a beneficial feature for the e-commerce sites what is that google analytics then fifth is nothing but the open web analytics so it is a free tool that allows you to track and analyze how people use the websites and related to their applications so these are the five most popular web analytics tools that you need to study analyze the visitor behavior how is that so who are visitors of your website that of that first of all we have to analyze then where are they coming from so who are the, who are your visitors first of all then where are they coming from and then what are they viewing on your site what they search in your site then did they find what they wanted and to know these all particular information we have to analyzing the visitors behavior so we need to know if you have created your website and you get to know what are the users are there and from whom they are create they are coming from so the basics of how to use google analytics so as you round off the course you will learn how to apply web analytics in a business setting then for the beginners you will learn how to use google web analytics for a variety of business related tasks that are google analytics helps you to track and measure visitors then traffic sources then goals then conversion and other metrics what are the reports audience analysis that will generate then acquisition analysis report also it will generate behavior analysis it will generate and the conversion analysis also you will get to know while analyzing the google analytics then basic steps of web analytics process so what are the basic steps of web, web analytics process here are first of all collecting of data which drives the processing of data into the information then developing key performance indicators we have to know we must have to know the developing key performances of your indicators then formulating online strategy also we need to apply so collection of data which is nothing but a typically counts of data then processing of data is nothing ratio in the form of ratio you will get all the information then developing key uh, are nothing but counts and ratios infused uh, with business strategy and formulating online strategy is nothing but online goals objectives or the standards for the organization so basically data collection data basic outcomes have the same when we see that uh, collection of data so the example of that will be time stamp then the referral url and the query terms time stamp what are the time span you need to require to collect the data then the referral url means what type of url basically you need to give to the particular website owners that can use your website then the quality terms what are the keywords what are the quality terms you have to specify then processing of data information is nothing but the examples are time on page then bounce rate. bounce rate you must know then unique visitors also you must be knowing then developing key performance indicators examples are conversion rate then average task completion rate and the formulating online strategies examples will be the save money make money make share 
Okay, market share. These all are the basic steps of web analytics process. So the process goes from collection of data to formulating online strategies. The web analytics terminology. We have listed here a set of terms that one should be familiar with while performing web analytics. First will be the benchmarking. What is that benchmarking? It is a service that gives a view of how your website is performing in contrast to others. So you must know the benchmarking of your particular website to know which gives you how your website is performing in contrast to others. What is different in your website from the others that you must be know in the case of benchmarking. So bounce rate is what number of times a user quits, quits without exploring your web pages. That is nothing but the bounce rate. Click, it is an action of clicking on your web pages. Then click, while clicking also you must play the count this by one, right? So if, when you click your website, your counter will be increased just like Facebook likes. Then conversion, conversion takes place when the goal is completed. For example, the purchase, registration, downloads, etc. Then direct traffic. Direct traffic is what traffic coming directly on your website by clicking on your website links or typing the URL of your website in the address bar. Then filter, a guideline that exclude or include specific data from reports. You must require sometimes the filters in your uh, data collection. So funnels, it steps visitors take to finally complete a goal. Then goal is what? It is a metric that defines the success rate of your Website. Then goal conversion rate is what? It is the percentage of visitors on every goal achieved by application. It is the display of your website on the internet. Keywords are what? It is the search queries that visitors use to find your website. If your website is on uh, suppose social media sites, so or suppose uh, marriage status. So in that case, wedding will be the keyword, marriage will be the keyword, cattle will be the keyword. Keyword, okay, these all will be the keywords of your website so that you must have to uh, think on it and then have to implement it. The landing page, the first page from where a visitor enters your website, new visitor, a visitor who is coming to your website for the first time. The organic traffic, organic traffic is what? It is a traffic for which you need not pay, means it comes naturally. For example, traffic from search engines. Okay, that will come next day. That we don't pay for that. Paid traffic is what? Traffic for which you need to pay. For example, Google AdWords. Page view, number of times a page is viewed. Returning visitors, the visitors who have already visited your page earlier that you must be knowing. So returning visitors are can are an asset for any website. So time spends accessing your site in a time. The tracking code is what? It is a small snippet of code inserted into a body of HTML page. HTML is hypertext markup language, which is the language with the help of that you can create the websites. So this code captures the information of visitors to a page. Then traffic as you know, flow of visitors to your website, then traffic resources, the source from where traffic originates. Then segmentation plays very important role in that. Segmentation is the process that segregates the data to find the actionable items. You need to find some actions that how many visitors have visited your website. What are the, what are the data that are already uh, visited by some other websites or your data is what uh, wants to a particular reason. So for example, you can categorize your entire website traffic data as one by following figure. So there will be the people bounce and all. So for the users, you can make a segment as one who purchased your products, then one who only visited your website and likewise. So during the remarketing, you can target those audiences with the help of this seg segment for a country and one for a traffic city that you can get. So basically segmentation is the process that segregates the data to find the actionable items. What are the actions that you need to perform in your website? You have to categorize it with the help of segmentation process. Segmentation, it is a very useful to analyze website traffic. So in analytics, you can analyze traffic inside with the help of segmentation. So there may be the audience overview. So following image shows 
so this will be the figure in your website so there will be the email export at to dashboard then these are all sessions and here add the segment so with this you can add basically the segment from the tab so from the website you can segment total traffic according according to acquisition goals and channels following other types of acquisition segmentation so organic traffic referral traffic and the direct traffic also you will know that social traffic server which is which are the topics which is coming from the social media which platforms have facebook twitter pinterest and all so with the help of this segment you can make future social media strategy for example if facebook is sending the highest traffic to your website so they uh, then you can improve your facebook post frequency paid traffic so analysis using segmentation so this is the way you can organize you can analysis your segmentation so when you are done with your segments collected the data from the segments then the next step is analysis on that data analysis is all about finding the actionable items from the data for example let's map a table for analysis first of all organic in jan 40k people will be there then february march like that way you can arrange you can analysis you know segment the data uh, with organic referral and social traffic analysis so from the above table you can see that all right so referral traffic is going down referral traffic is going down 4k 5k and all but organic is 42k 45k 57k 60 and goes on increasing in that but social platform is working for you find out which social platform is working with you that we need to find out social make you uh, why social these all are in below the 5k to traffic organic traffic sender pages the focus on the social media platform that is sending the highest traffic so find why your referral traffic is going down and is there the link removed from the website which was sending the traffic earlier so i have finished it with all this so we have to analyze on that particular data after that actionable what are the action we have to take from that data so first of all add new pages according to organic traffic sender pages then you have to focus on social media platforms that is sending the traffic yes traffic and then find out why your referrals traffic is going down and is any link removed from the website which was sending traffic earlier that you need to find out which is the actionable of your data collected by mentation that link will share with you so this is the web analytics link that you need to give the quiz thank you thank you here i have finished my module 6 which is on websites and web analytics thank you